Well, Amazon was here today, and I got helmets. I wanted to get a helmet that I could wear here in Michigan in the spring and in the fall when it's still cold. Um, because what I've been doing is when it's really, really cold, I'm not wearing my helmet, and I'm just wearing a hoodie up over my head, and that's not good. So, let me show you what I got here. Let's get this open. That's the packing. Which one is this? This is an extra large. All right, let me get this box out of the way. Now what I did is ILM, I ordered two helmets. And the reason I did that, let me see if I can turn this. And the reason I did that is because I got them from Amazon. I, get, I got them the next day and if I don't like one of them, I can return it and as soon as I drop it off at the UPS store, they'll instantly credit my account. So I normally wear a large helmet and this one from what I can read from the reviews from people is that they run very, very small. So I got an extra large, that's what this one is. So this is probably gonna be the one that I'm gonna keep. But if I put it on and for some reason, it feels too big. I got a large over there. More than likely, this is going to be the one that I'm going to keep. Now, this is, uh, it's DOT approved. Uh, okay, what does that mean? Not much, really. Uh, DOT approval? Come on, Fisher Price can make a helmet and it could pass a DOT approval. Um, anybody can get a DOT approval. Um, but, it's it's as good if not better than an e or than a bicycle helmet. So on my e-bike, I'm thinking that this is going to be just fine. Plus, and obviously you can see here, it comes in a bag. That's nice. Plus, this helmet, I think, is just badass looking. I mean, is that not cool or what? And it's got the built-in sun visor. I like that. It's got a nice uh, rubber seal across the face here for it to uh, seal up against. Um, and what I like about it versus a, like a regular full-on motorcycle helmet, which this one is, it's not real heavy. And that's what I really like. What else we got in the box here? Well, these are plastic covers so that we, if you wanted to remove the visor and you take these screws out the plastic covers will fill the hole so they don't get full of crud <laughs> <Text message. laughs> my phone so this is cool because you can open and close the vents um, which I really like and the same thing on the front it's on the inside uh, the the button to open and close the vents so you can open and close them it's really easy just with one lever and it opens and closes both of these vents now another thing about this helmet if you wanted to it could be comes right off it could be a three-quarter helmet okay but like I said my whole purpose for getting this was because I wanted a helmet that would block the cold when I'm riding in the spring and the fall, like on a 30 degree day, it'll block some of the wind, it'll keep my ears warm, um, so that's what I was looking for. So, question is, will it fit? Let's see how this buckle works. Oh, that's kind of cool. Extra large, huh? Glasses off. Oh, the extra large is perfect. Yeah, definitely an extra large. <laughs> Can I wear my glasses? Oh yeah. All right, I'm good. I can wear my glasses. It's not too tight. 
Now the large is going to go back. The extra large is the keeper. Let's see here. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Of course I got to take this off. Yeah, that's a badass helmet. I really like it. So the other thing is too, let me take this off again, is I looked at a lot of these helmets and this piece here uh, on some of the other helmets was flexible. This one is rigid and it's going to give me a nice spot right here in the front where I can mount my GoPro. I can be able to, to get a GoPro mount and mount it on there so I can take you guys on rides with me. Um, I don't know yet whether I'm going to keep the lapel mic here or if I'm going to try to figure out some way to mount it on the inside. I don't know yet. But yeah, there it is. This is uh, ILM. I think it was 89 bucks. It was on Amazon. And so you guys don't yell at me again. <laughs> I'll hit links and uh, I'll have a link in the description. Great looking helmet. I really like it. I think it's just badass. Not a lot of money. 89 bucks. This is this is uh, quite the e quite the e-bike helmet. A lot of guys use these on the one wheels and e-skateboards and stuff like that. And just because you know, with me, with my bike, and the theme that I've been trying to follow with it, with the all black, and I kind of call it the urban assault bike. This is going to fit right in. This is cool. Luke, I'm your father. How the hell do you breathe in these things?